so far I've found everyone on YouTube to be completely reasonable. Haven't had any suspended videos, and I haven't uh, actually received any criticism whatsoever. A little bit I did receive was, uh, I, I grant you this, I deserved it. Yeah. <laughs> It's like some of it, all these videos, like I made fake videos where, you know, maybe I'm in, suppo in support or de-supporting something. I do things to make people think. I'm not out here actually giving my own opinions. I don't have any opinions on things. Just think, you know, you're not stealing from me, you're not breaking my stuff. Who am I to tell you what to do? pretty much what I believe. Uh, I don't care. You bother me a little bit. It's funny. It's a prank. Who cares? But so far I've received like zero criticism. And everyone says when you make YouTube videos, everyone... Maybe it's because I have almost zero viewers. I'm going to move this to where you can see it better. There's just interesting things that I put around here. This game, this game, Outlaw Golf, on the original Xbox is our sponsor. It's a piece of shit. Golf Gone Wild is the code to it. But anyway, um... Yeah, a lot of people think some of the videos I put up are serious. Not even, like, especially not the music. If the government was going to mess with me about anything, or the FBI or the NSA, it would be about the music. The uh, lyrics like, From Sea to Shining Sea, Fill the streets with anarchy, We won't stop it for the riot police, Gotta bring the government to their knees, The government is a social disease, Treason's key, can't you see? Follow me, and oh please. Just, uh, lyrics like that, you know, uh, they can sometimes be mistaken for someone's real political beliefs when in a lot more of a strong sense of the thing it's a reflection of society. You know, you have shows like uh, all these criminal shows and everything on television where they're like um, Flashpoint and stuff where they're chasing terrorists. It's no different, I'm no different than an actor on one of those shows playing a song I mean, I really do believe in freedom of speech. I came on here and said, I, that's one of the things I strongly believe in is freedom of speech. If I'm saying something that's highly offensive or something else and I'm doing a character, of course that's a character. It's not a real thing. I'm not out there in the streets telling people, you should do this. No, I mean, it's a song. It's a, it's a medium of entertainment. Entertainment. It's like a movie or a television show. You can have a terrorist in a song easily. And because there's a terrorist in a song does not mean the person that sings that song believes in, supports, or is even uh, conveying, promoting, or, you know, the other word that, you, um, that means something about they don't care about it. I can't remember what it is. But it's another word. I've lost the dictionary in my head. It's like conveying, I can't remember, but you know what I'm saying, it's a, it's a medium of entertainment, not someone's actual beliefs or opinions, it's like a movie or a television show, and uh, I could see how some people would be confused, there are probably YouTube videos you need to be watching, quite honestly, NSA, and you're watching mine, I almost guarantee you, because I try to piss off the government just enough to where they watch me, that way if my videos don't record or my music isn't being recorded, you know, I, I have a free recording studio right there, just say something about the president, say, Air Force One, you and then after you say that, the NSA records everything that you say, so it's like a free recording contract, eh, <laughs> it's like, um, that's not a Canadian, that's as suspicious as anything. <laughs> but that's how I see it, it's a free recording contract. If I, if I want to pick up the guitar or something, or if I just want to sing a song and YouTube might be messed up, or, you know, maybe I want to, maybe it'll be on CNN. 
who knows? It will be a video I made. A little piece of it will be cut and it will make me sound like I'm saying something that I'm not. Like, yeah, terrorists are in my music. And that's the only part they'll use. They won't use the part where I said that they're in movies and television and that it's a medium of entertainment. They'll just cut that part. Terrorists are in my music. <laughs> and then they'll cut that part out where I say, um, I don't support or convey terrorism or anything like that. And they'll take the I don't part off, so it just says, support terrorism. You know, that's how the media does to people. They cut up little things. They're, they'll cut this up and bring me to court about it, probably. I don't know. But I'm pushing my freedom of speech on it. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. <laughs> that fucked up the whole video. That fucked up the whole video. That was the stupidest thing I could possibly do. It's the alcohol. Blame it on the liquor. The liquor's doing the thinking. No, but I like to push my freedom of speech to the very edge of where you can get away with it. You know, just to make sure that they're not infringing on it and getting closer and closer and closer to making political correctness the law. You got to be free, and you got to, uh, you know, there's no prohibition. Make sure you drink. Freedom of speech. Talk all the time. You, you know, there's uh, gun laws in many states. This is going to scare you. Go out and get a pistol license. That's a real pistol license. I'm not going to let you read it because it probably has like my social security on it. No. This could be anyone's pistol license. There's not even a picture on it. That's kind of a bad idea. Like, I support gun rights, but you need a picture on your ID. This is, a, this is just a long, long disclaimer about my music and my videos and everything else. If there is absolutely something that must be removed, if YouTube asks me to remove it, it's deleted right there. But, I mean, for the most part, uh, these videos are for people over 14. They're rated R, I guess. They got a few curse words in them. You know, you... But, kids learn curse words first day they go to school in kindergarten. The teacher's like, what in the fuck? This coffee's too fucking hot. Spits it on a holy shit. Spits it all over the kids. And I assume that's the public education system that we have today. Go, you know, you know the thing. I think that people should run cars into mailboxes. <laughs>